Hey everyone, my name is Kwan and this is Maria. So today we're going to be talking about mining and civil engineering and we'll be talking more about our student experiences, internship experiences, um, our full-time jobs and, and just tips and advice to help people who are deciding between these two disciplines and even if you've decided, uh, just general <laughs> tips and advices to help you succeed in your career. Um, so to start things off, we'll just tell us, we'll, sorry, we'll introduce ourselves a little bit more. So start off with what we do for work, um, where we studied, and perhaps anything interesting about your engineering career. So Maria, you can go first. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and comment down below um, anything that you want, and give us feedback about what you think about the video, and if you have any further questions, or if you want us to make more related videos about it, just don't forget to let us know in the comments down below. So tell us a little bit about where you work, what you do for work, uh, where and what you studied, and anything else relevant about your engineering career. Yeah, well, I attended the University of Alberta where I achieved my bachelor's in engineering, in civil engineering, last year. And the experience was really good at the University of Alberta. Upon graduating, I. I got a job also in, the, in this field. Uh, right now I'm doing a lot of municipal infrastructure jobs, um, more of like a civil rehabilitation jobs as well. So those core civil projects, um, that's what I'm currently working on with the hopes of you know getting exposure to other components such as structural engineering, um, just to really become a well-rounded civil engineering training. So when I actually get to apply for my professional engineering, I kind of have like an overall knowledge of many things. Cool, um, and about myself, I graduated from UBC in mining engineering in 2019. Um, so I started school in 2013. I graduated six years afterwards because I did two years of co-op. Did um, 12 months at Shell in long range tailings planning and then I did 60 months at Suncor in short and mid range mine planning. I'm um, now working full time back at Suncor. I'm currently working as a short range course tailings planner, so I'm mainly in charge of uh, creating deposition plans for our, for our course tailings um, and just making sure that we have a stable structure and just enough containment for our course tailings to go into. Um, I've also done some uh, student teams when I was in school, so I did Canadian mining games. Uh, so did a competition called Move Mining, um, did that in 2019. Um, so me and our friends submitted a idea to change the public's perception of mining using animated infographic videos and then we won that competition. So we're working through those videos now, it's called uh, Mining to Me, um, so feel free to check that out. All right. We're going to leave you the link in the description box Absolutely. below for you to check that out. <laughs> But you know how cool, like something cool though, is that I noticed that you did the co-op program. Yes. I didn't do the co-op program, so my program was only four years in length, and I had so basically I had schooling from um, September until early May or like late April, mm -hmm. and then from there on my summer work on my summer terms. Um, I was able to actually obtain several engineering jobs related like to Weird. my field, um, which I found truly really valuable because it kind of gave me that co-op experience without being fully in co-op. But I find that a lot of my classmates kind of struggle with this, so it's it's really important to early on on your career um, for you to start doing that networking and you know connecting with people within your field even um, on like this own school, like on any events that you have, there's yep. always going to be people from the industry that come and visit. Make sure you start developing those connections because that's, that's how I got the job that I have right now from those connections. Yeah, absolutely. Networking and work experience, two crucial keys for you guys to get a full-time job. Uh, so next question is just a little bit about our industry. So we'll just talk about what is civil engineering and what is mining engineering. Um, so I'll go first because you went first last time. <laughs> so mining engineering is a discipline that deals with extracting valuable minerals from the ground um, using the best practices, so whatever technolo technology you have, and doing it in the most uh, economical and environmentally re responsible way. Um, and so because there's open pit mining, there's uh, underground mining, there's a lot of um, 
I guess, criteria that goes into being a successful mining engineer. Um, yeah, I, there's a lot more to it, but that's just the uh, overview of mining engineering. Yeah. And civil engineering, it's basically um, a field of engineering where we do a lot of work. Uh, it, it could be maintenance or it could be design and construction of roads, buildings. It could also be pipelines. Like there's a lot for civil engineering um, from environmental to, you know, actually, you know, rehabilitating bridges or constructing new bridges, rehabilitating um, structures or building new building new buildings <laughs> so there is a lot of um, things within civil engineering that you can actually um, work with and experience uh, personally I no I don't know where I'm going with it <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all right uh, next question is so why did you choose that discipline and you can go first this time okay so curry like when I was in my first year, so basically in the first year is that it's when you actually get to choose uh, what you want to do or what you want to focus on on your second, third, fourth, fifth years, etc. Um, but basically first year is the year where you do like a little bit of everything to kind of get a taste of what those things are. And going into first year, I was so determined to, you know, pursue mechanical engineering just because I kind of really, I could go off on the aeronautical yeah. engineering just because of our pilot's background yeah. so I was like you know what mechanical is the way to go that's what I'm gonna do but then statics came along <laughs> and it was challenging for me at least like mm -hmm. the concepts were challenging but I was like so hooked with that that statics. I'm like yeah like <laughs> <Interesting>. <laughs> that I'm like you know what civil is the way to go like Civil is cool because it has so many like options. Like if I don't like yeah. doing municipal engineering, I could do bridges. I could do like buildings. Like so many options, and it really allowed me like freedom in that sense, and also move whatever I want to go because there's always going to be that need for engineers to you know do road rehabilitation or you know mm -hmm. all that stuff. So that's what like really really hooked me into civil engineering and kind of going from a concept like something on a paper to an actual tangible thing that you can see you can touch you can like you know you can go and like you can do so many things so that's that's one that hooked me with civil yeah so i totally relate to that last point you're on like designing something that you can physically see in the field um that's pretty relevant to mining and i think you're the first person that per, first person that said uh you, you're hooked on Statics. I've never heard that before. Um, so for myself, um, so similar story, um, first year engineering is sort of like the time when you sort of um, see your options and sort of decide uh, what you're going to. Um, personally, I've actually uh, didn't want to pursue mining just because one, I didn't know much about it and two, it didn't really, um, I guess it didn't just really click to me at that time. but. I guess the more I dive into it, I just realized that it's a very complicated and integrated discipline. Um, it deals a lot with sort of looking at um, using the technology available available to the industry. Um, and there's a lot of growth in terms of uh, the technology that could be used within the industry. Um, I, th I just thought it was a super like complex and, uh, and interesting problem to do to look at. Um, just like how do you get some like valuable rocks out of the ground? Like, uh, and there, the more I look into it, there's like so many, I guess, like constraints that go into it. Um, it's just this like giant piece of puzzle that involves like geotechnical engineering, uh, mining engineering, a little bit of finance that goes into it. And so I think it was because of the complexity of this industry and I guess mining engineering in specific that um, sort of drew me into it. Uh, but also actually like, when I was in grade 11, I know it's actually because of air cadets. <laughs> I went to a field trip in, uh, so it was an aircraft maintenance course uh, okay. in North Bay, Ontario. And then we actually went to a field trip to the, um, I always forget the name, but I just call it the Big Nickel, where um, they had this like giant underground mine. Um, it's a museum that you could go into. Uh, and when I went into it, uh, I was just perplexed by how they, like build this like big opening underground but I was also curious as to like why they designed it the way they did how did they know where to put this like big giant opening um, so it's just something that the more
more I looked into it, the more curious I got about. Uh, and that, that's how I chose mining engineering. Yeah, and I find like, you know, having that curiosity of why things work the way they do or why this was designed the way they did, like that's, I find like a common trait on all engineers. So if you find yourself that you're like very inquisitive or like you kind of want to know why, the why of things, engineering is the way to go, definitely. And I also find that um, even though I'm civil and you're mining, like we work with so many like engineers and like many disciplines for a job site that it kind of like gives you like a taste of everything and, for sure. and you kind of like you know get the overall picture which I find it's really like really cool because you learn a lot from different disciplines and um, yeah yeah totally <laughs> that's the next question <laughs> so now I have a question for you sure. what are some of those courses that you took for mining engineering and which one was your favorite um, At least favorite. We'll do two, okay, one sure. and one. <laughs> um, yeah, there's actually quite a few interesting courses. Um, I guess like the core fundamental courses would be like surface mine design and underground mine design. Um, what else? Uh, there's some like mineral processing course. Um, even though I didn't end up going into the mineral processing stream, uh, I still kind of found it interesting just to sort of gives me the whole picture of how a mining process works from um, the ground all the way to the end of the mill. Uh, some of my favorite courses were obviously like the mine design classes is sort of I finally like understood like how how they design the mines. Yep. Um, I also really enjoyed the mineral economics course. Um, there's this, this whole like finance side of mining that I didn't know about but um, I got really into it. I also liked the mining and environmental courses um, and that course is not only dealt with like the environmental aspects of mining but it also dealt with the social implications um, just because whenever you develop a mine you always have to I guess communicate with the stakeholders and get them involved and understand what impacts your mine has around the community um, and this sort of gave me like a I guess like a less technical look on mining but sort of this like more social component uh, that I found really interesting as well so those are some of my favorite courses yeah and and that's actually a good point because engineering is not only about you know the the design and like the crunching numbers like there's more to it it's also about you know how this project is going to impact citizens or how it's going to impact you know the animals or like wildlife so like you have to look at it from different kind of points of view and see like how you are like impacting everything for civil so we do a range of, of um, courses so we do surveying school surveying school oh. um, we also take courses on geotech we do courses on structural design as well as um, water design so like we do courses on transportation as well as construction methods so like you know kind of thinking about how you're gonna build something and the economic section like part of it like how you're gonna do quantity takeoff and all that stuff so it's very like we do a little bit of everything um, but in the last year we do like our capstone yeah. which is basically you focus on two courses that you kind of really want to you know continue developing throughout your career so for me my favorite one was um, the structural course because we got to kind of design a uh, building from like, you know, it's parquet to its third floor. So it was kind of cool to go through the process and kind of be in help with the professors. Um, and I find that my least favorite course was survey. <laughs> and why is that? <laughs> because for survey, we had to do a survey school. And survey school is in the middle of nowhere. And it hailed, it rained, it was like we got- How long was it? Because I've heard I think Mining Kids does it too at U of A. Yeah. Um, but how long was that survey course? It was a one very long week. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> but no, no, it was it's cool like kind of like getting the experience and because it's, it's honestly you use it a lot in the field. But oh my gosh, like the experience was a little bit challenging <laughs> with like the changing seasons throughout the day. <laughs> right. But anyway, so it's kind of it was a good experience. We have a lot of like memories from it, but it was rough. <laughs> 
Um, and I forgot to mention like my least favorite course. Um, my least favorite would probably probably be flotation course. Um, so flotation, <laughs> for, those <laughs> <who don't> weird. <laughs> for those who doesn't know, um, flotation is how you, um, after you process the minerals and you have to recover the minerals, there's a process called flotation where you selectively um, use chemical compounds to sort of extract the valuable minerals from your mixture. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of chemistry involved and I guess chemistry is not my strong suit so that was my least favorite course. Yeah. We all had we all have one that is not our strongest suit. Yeah. <laughs> but it's totally okay. You you get you're gonna make it through, don't worry. <laughs> So next question is, so that was it for part one of this video. If you want to see part two, make sure you go to Maria's channel, which is... At Maria Carolina, and I'm gonna leave it linked down below or maybe on the cards up here. Yeah, so we just either click the cards or click the link to see part two. We'll see you guys there. Bye, until the next one. <laughs>